But first, a defender's investigation is all new at 6. Arson investigators working around the clock to figure out who set fire to two Charlotte apartment complexes. Both arsons targeting the leasing centers and both happening in the overnight hours. Meanwhile, the city's fire chief says these fires are sparking new concerns about the material crews are using to build the massive apartments taking over Charlotte's landscape. It's a problem our defenders team exposed nearly a year ago. Apartments made out of wood frame material that could fuel massive fires in highly populated areas. It happened two years ago in downtown Raleigh. The massive five alarm fire damaged or destroying 10 buildings, and it was the first fire in almost a century there. Defender Nathan Morbido is live at 6. And Nathan, the Charlotte Fire Department now reviewing its procedures to make sure firefighters are capable of responding to that kind of fire. That's right, and that review could result in changes to dispatching, staffing, and equipment. As the city moves away from these single-family homes to larger apartment complexes like this one in South End, made not out of concrete but cheaper wood, the fire chief says it's unclear if Charlotte's fire response plan is adequate. It's a five-story lumber yard if you ever drive by one. That's how Charlotte's fire chief described the new apartments popping up all over the Queen City. Now we have a five-story wood-framed apartment. Uh, that we really need to be concerned about. Built with materials that he says spell the perfect recipe for disaster. It is worrisome to me, yes. It's worrisome to others too, like parents whose son lived next door to one of the apartments. There is so much wood in that building, and my husband said the same thing. It doesn't look safe. If it goes up in flames. I've never seen anything like this. It was a lot of explosions. It's incredible the amount of buildings that are burning over there. Raleigh knows that well. The home of this fast spreading apartment fire in 2017. It can happen anywhere. All we can do is try and reduce the risk of it happening. After the Raleigh fire, the Charlotte Fire Department sent a letter to all construction companies, reminding them of what's required in the fire code. Now these buildings have to have sprinkler systems. Fire inspectors say the biggest concern is when crews are in the construction phase before sprinkler systems and smoke detectors are installed. But even with that fire protection, Charlotte's chief wants to make sure the city's response is as effective as it can be. Those fires can get pretty big uh, in short order. We really need to look at that and see if that's adequate. The fire inspector said Charlotte's building code allows crews to build these large apartment complexes with wood in just about every part of the Queen City, except for one, the heart of Uptown, where the buildings are incredibly tall and incredibly close together. Reporting live in South End, Nate Morbido, NBC Charlotte. All right, Nathan, thank you.